We were born with a fallen nature. It's not our fault. We inherited it. We were bound to sin from the get-go. And God does not hold us responsible for this. We are not to blame for being born this way. We are not to blame for being born with bad um, advice, bad uh, examples, with parents that misrepresent how we're supposed to be living and misguide us, born into groups of peer pressure where we are molded into the world. That's expected of us. God knows we're going to mold into a fallen form that we're not going to be living righteous. That's why Christ died your death. He took your death penalty. And you can be forgiven for any willful choices that you've made. Any, ig any ignorant sins, willful sins, anything you knowingly, willingly, and habitually did. Wicked things, you know. He'll forgive you for anything. But you have to repent. You can be for forgiven for anything, okay? Except for rejecting Christ's death penalty, Christ's sacrifice for you. If you reject Christ and say that he did not die for you and take your place and you deny following and you deny his, his lordship over you and say I will not have him be king over me and you stubbornly reject his offer of love, he wants to give you a new nature. He wants to repair you, to rebuild you on a proper foundation, a foundation of perfect love, a foundation of truth. He wants to give you a new nature, His divine nature. And He'll forgive anything, but you have to surrender your life to Him. It's not easy believism. You don't just believe that He died for you, and then you're forgiven. No, you believe He died for you, and then you surrender your life to Him. You, you say, I'm going to live for you, Jesus, and then, even that, even that saying that you're going to live for Jesus isn't enough. You need to start living for Jesus. You know, you can say, praise the Lord, I love Jesus, He died for me. But until you're really, 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 really living for Him and showing fruits, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and He's changed you, and you're not committing those sins that you were committing, then you're not, you're not saved, you're not right with God. You're still in the old fallen nature. Those who commit sin willfully are not to inherit the kingdom of heaven. They are rejected and despised by God because they love unrighteousness. God will send them delusion, deception, and they will be misled into some, some type of error in the way they live because they rejected the truth. But Christ wants to set you free, okay? Don't lose hope. He wants to make you new, and He will if you surrender to Him. Pledge your allegiance to Christ, okay? He'll forgive anything if you repent. The only thing you cannot be forgiven of is surrender to Christ. Not surrendering to Christ is unforgivable.